One of the roughest campaigns was for Bergen County Executive. The candidates together spent a million dollars on a welter of negative ads, one that even led to a defamation suit. But when the votes were counted, County Republicans' best-known politician, Kathleen Donovan, had been ousted by former Paramus mayor turned freeholder, James Tedesco. He joins us now from Hackensack. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Mary Alice. I appreciate it. It was a great win for Bergen County. You know, it was a huge upset. The incumbent had big presence, big name recognition. Why'd you win? I had, uh, I had the, the vision and I had the people on my side. And in this, in this election, it was about uh, the people's disenchantment with uh, the government that was um, under, her, under Kathy Donovan's leadership. And uh, that came out loud and clear. So the people of Bergen County want government to work for them. They don't want government uh, being governed in the courthouse. They want it being governed in the people's house. And that's what uh, I'm going to do. People who handicap uh, races looking at 2016 have been looking at Bergen County uh, to see where the county's going to go in the, in the general election. What's the significance to the Democratic Party in New Jersey of your win? I, we see the freeholder board remain Democrat in Democratic control as well. Well, Bergen County being the largest county in the state of New Jersey, and there's not many, there's not many elections statewide or even at the federal level that uh, people can win without uh, taking Bergen County. So having a Democratic county executive and a Democratic freeholder board um, positions Bergen County to be a, pl a, a large player and have a great impact on uh, who becomes the next governor in the state of New Jersey. What are the major issues you want to address as county executive? Well, I, uh, I said in my, uh, my speech last night, uh, short term, on January 1st, uh, my daughters and my six grandchildren will uh, hold the Bible and I'll get sworn in. I'll sign a contract for the uh, Bergen County Sheriff's officers who have been waiting four years for a contract. And uh, I'll move forward with the realignment of the Bergen County Police and uh, into the Sheriff's Department. So that'll be on January 1st. And then right after that, uh, within the first 100 days, I want to make sure that uh, I, I propose a budget that meets the needs of the people of Bergen County. Um, that the, the realignment of the police, uh, of the uh, Bergen County Police into the Sheriff's uh, Department um, is, if it's not completed, it'll be just about completed. You don't and, see uh, any roadblocks to that? Look at uh, Do I see any roadblocks to that? Yep. Uh, I, I, legally, I don't see any roadblocks. I mean, certainly there may be some, some organizations or some groups that want to challenge that. I don't see why they would want to. Um, we're not going to. We're not going to uh, take anybody's job. Everybody's going to have a job. We're going to eliminate the uh, the cost through attrition, and we're going to end up with one good large police force that's going to work on the behalf of the people of Bergen County. Okay. Thank you very much for your time today. Congratulations, James Tedesco, poised to be the new Bergen County executive. Thank okay. you.